Hello everyone, welcome to module 15 of Anytense basic course 0 to 1. And today we are going to talk about weight node. What is the purpose of weight node? Where to use it? So let's directly dive into it. Weight node. The weight node pauses your workflow for a set time or until a condition is met. As simple as that. Uh, create time delays between automation steps. Uh, you can use it for waiting for specific conditions before proceeding. And the intention is maybe to set up some timelines. Okay. That if I've sent one message to this lead, the next message should be sent uh, one hour later. So for that, we can create a wait note. So let me take you to the init and cloud to show you how the wait note looks like. We'll simply go here. We'll type in wait. And yeah. Here you can see we have option of resuming the workflow after a time interval at a specified time on a webhook call on form submitted. All these options are possible. Uh, you can use these weight nodes there. And then of course, weight amount, we can keep the weight unit in days, hours, minutes and whatever amount we want to keep. So if we keep days, this is five days. So that particular workflow will then resume after five days. Okay. So, yeah, so that was weight node. And if you want to see some real world use cases where this is majorly used is if you want to safeguard some of the API limits. So if you will start calling an API of uh, Google Sheets and you'll call it multiple times within a single minute, the node will give you an error. Okay. So to safeguard that and to safeguard your API functionings, we use wait node so that the entire workflow kind of executes very comfortably and slowly without rushing and executing the entire workflow in a single instance. So yeah. So a couple of real world examples, this is used for time follow-ups, uh, wait for 24 hours after initial contact before sending a personalized follow-up message. That's one use. Then payment confirmation, let's say you want to pause your workflow until payment confirmation arrives and then only process the order. Right. So that can be done. This is wait until condition met, which was the webhook call wala thing. If you'll come back here, we'll go here and you'll see this webhook call option is available that waits for a webhook call before continuing. So. It basically means that the moment that the payment is done, that moment done would trigger a webhook. And the moment that this webhook is triggered, it would start executing the entire workflow, the same workflow from that particular node or the wait node. So yeah, scheduled operations, delay database maintenance or batch operations until off peak hours. Okay. So let's say there are some massive operations that you want to put in some maintenance that you want to do on databases that you can do in like, let's say at 2 AM, 3 AM when it's like not many people are using it. So yeah, that was wait note and module 15 for you guys. Keep using this in your workflow to safeguard your API limits. And I would see you in the next video.